I suppose one of the, one of the sort of misconceptions around uh, Golden Mowry Design is that we're, uh, we're going to be a car manufacturer and that's not our business. Our core business is intellectual property and we've actually uh, devised and industrialised a new way of making high volume uh, motor cars. And the T25 really is just uh, a physical entity, a working example of um, what we've trademarked at iStream Manufacturing. So we need the car to prove the process and we put a lot of energy into the design of the car to try and solve a lot of the urban mobility issues. So the car itself actually is for sale and we have a couple of parties interested. But the real reason for this business existing is iStream manufacturing. The, um, the iStream process, it goes back, to, it's a bit back to the future. It's uh, a separate body chassis system. So the, um, the chassis can be the same for several different body shapes. It's also adaptable from uh, a city car right up to, say, an urban bus would be uh, appropriate on an iStream principal chassis. Um, the ultimate recycling is not to recycle. So if the, the heavy bits, as we call them, that is the running platform with its powertrain and suspension and brakes, I mean, these days, those bits of the car last to 200,000, 300,000 miles they, they, they're good for. It's the body that lets the car down, a bit like human beings, really. So um, I think the ultimate recycling, uh, based on the Austrian principle, is that you build a chassis that you don't actually have to update or change for ages, but you can rebody. I mean, you could almost have, I mean, one ultimate goal would be to have a ghost line next to the main production line where you can, people can bring the cars back and have them rebodied or, or, you know, facelifted or whatever. In 2010, we entered the award for automotive innovation uh, with our iStream process because we thought it was um, appropriate, very appropriate, being uh, an innovative but also disruptive manufacturing process. Awards like the Award for Automotive Innovation are really important for a small startup company. Um, UK is well known for its innovation, but you know there's, a, there's the established innovators, if you like, that get a lot of press coverage, and then there's startup companies like this. And although there's individuals within this company which ha who have a, a good history uh, of innovation and uh, publicity trail, if you like, it's always very, very good uh, and helpful to get awards like that when you're trying to do something that's disruptive. If you're, if you're doing innovation on a level of uh, evolution, let's say, um, you know, the latest aluminium technology in cars, it's a lot easier to get people to, to sit up and listen. If you're doing something that's totally disruptive, uh, iStream doesn't use any of the conventional <laughs> methods of manufacturing a steel car. Um, it's a lot more important to get recognition and to get press coverage to be taken seriously. Currently we're seeing a, a bit of a revival, I think, in investment in manufacturing in this country and in the automotive sector people like the Technology Strategy Board have been very active and the government have been very supportive of um, startups is perhaps the wrong word but innovative companies but that have a route to exploitation and a route to manufacturing I think that's really important that we support stuff that has a genuine uh, route to manufacture um, there's there's also funding available of course for blue sky stuff and and R&D. But the segment we're in, I think it's very important um, to note that the government and people like the TSB are supporting uh, new technologies that have a route to manufacture. And if we can keep that manufacture in this country, you know, all the better.